welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot second since I've filmed anything and I'm so excited to be here. So many fun, exciting things have happened to me in the last couple of weeks. We hit 3,000 subscribers. I got to meet my YouTube idol. Um, Guys, and there I say friend, Angelica Nyquist. She was here in the States, or she is here in the States actually. And she was in my neck of the woods, uh, which is Minnesota. And I'm from North Dakota, but uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul, the Twin Cities, um, is about a four hour drive from where I live. And so she was in Minnesota and she had Thursday free. And so I took the day off work, me and my husband did, and we drove up there to hang out with her and her fiance, Ricardo. I will throw up some pictures in case you guys don't know who the heck I'm talking about, which I highly doubt you don't but yeah we hung out it was so much fun angelica vlogged i don't know if she'll use the footage but we hung out at the mall we got to go shopping at sephora we went and looked at riley rose it was so fun it was literally like my like dream day because i have friends that like makeup but it's a different level when you're hanging out with a YouTuber because they know all the new releases like you do and so it was so much fun and then we um, definitely hit up some of the rides which I was not as excited about but uh, I did it for the team and so definitely did a roller coaster and that was like oh no <laughs> and then we did we went to a brewery um called Surly Brewery in Minnesota and that was really fun I don't drink but I had so much fun and I love good food and they had good food so it was a wonderful wonderful day today I do want to play with the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette this actually arrived the day I was out of town visiting Angie so I haven't even dug into it I've seen so many people use this so many of my friends have purchased this I also watch Annette's 10 looks with the Jawbreaker palette. I don't know how this girl does all of this work. I swear to God. She is so busy on the internet making 10 looks with this palette. And um, she did um, so many cute ones. One of my favorite looks that she did was just like this blue called cute in the inner corner. And then she did like the bubble gum. And she did like a cotton candy look. It was so cute. So um, that's the one that's kind of in my head. I also watched Butte Beans video on this. Um, yeah, just so many of my friends are playing with this palette. So I did put up a poll because I got a few other palettes in the mail too. I got the Whale Song and the Summer California Love palette, the ColourPop palette for the summer. I had you guys vote on which one you wanted to see and everyone said, well, majority said Jawbreaker, so that's what I'm gonna do. I also watched Teresa's Dead's video on the Jawbreaker palette and I didn't buy the Jeffree Star highlighter palette or any of his highlighters that come in the like the packaging. Um, in my first order, but Teresa's Dead was like, this highlighter palette is so good, buy it. I literally paused her video and went and bought the highlighter palette. So I'm guessing the highlighter palette should be here soon. Um, I don't have it yet, so it won't be in this video, but you'll see it in a different video. But I do have a different highlighter that I'm so excited to try. So this is Manny MUA's brand Lunar Beauty. I don't own anything from them, but I've been watching a lot of Brittany Clark. Um, I'll try and remember to link her channel down below. She is so outspoken. Um, she does swear on her channel, so if you're, you know not into that I wouldn't recommend but I love her personality she's so loud and outspoken and she actually got some of the contaminated lipsticks from Jacqueline's launch so she's been very vocal about that and she was recently um, doing her makeup either on Instagram or on YouTube and she pulled out this highlighter which is Venus and it looks so bomb on her and she was raving about how good it was and I was so excited to get it I almost bought it online um, and he his shipping is like 75 bucks for free shipping and he had a promo going on where you could buy three highlighters and get one free and I was so so tempted um, but I was meeting Angelica the next day so I was like you know what I don't need to spend money on highlighters right now like I'd rather have extra money in case we go shopping or something like that so I didn't buy it that day and I was so thankful because they sell Lunar Beauty at the Morphe store in the Mall of America so I was able to just grab the one shade and keep all my money so that was exciting also, I did um, pick up some other stuff from Jeffree's launch. I really have always wanted one of his makeup bags. And you guys know how much I love the shade green. So I picked this one up. And this is full of blue, 
This is full of bronzers for a different video. So I did buy that. And then I did pick up two lip shades. I picked up Fully Nude and Strawberry Crush. And honestly, I think I'm going to return these and I don't want to swatch them. But like Fully Nude, I thought was going to be more of a terracotta shade. It looks so like creamy pink in here. And I haven't made up my mind if I want to try it because... If I return it, you know, unopened, they can, like, sell it. And then Strawberry Crush, I thought was going to be a much more bright... Well, it looks more bright on camera. It just looks so pink here, and I'm really not a fan. It kind of reminds me of Watermelon Soda, which is a shade I had from him and I decluttered. But I was really hoping this was going to be a brighter red, not so much like a... I don't know. I can't decide. Let me know what you guys think. I So I did buy those. i um, not sure about those yet. And then the two things I knew right away when I watched his reveal video that I wanted was this mirror. I've been holding out on getting one of these for a long, long time. And I finally got a Jeffree Star mirror. This is so cute. And also the Morphe store in Minneapolis had his whole collection there. I felt kind of silly because I ordered everything on Beautylish. And the day I happened to be at the Mall of America, I could have just bought everything I wanted right there. But anyway, and they also did this makeup bag for the Jawbreaker collection. And I just like the plant, the paint splatter and everything about it is so adorable. So... I thought I would pick it up and that is what the inside looks like so do I need another makeup bag absolutely not but I don't know I really wanted one of his makeup bags for a long long time and to be able to get it with the paint splatter I thought was really really cute so yeah that was like the longest intro ever so without further blabbering let's get into it so my favorite white base of the moment is this guy by makeup revolution and I also have it in like the medium shade um, but I thought white and I also have foundation on already um, So we'll see how this goes because usually I do my eyes first um, But I don't usually like to count come on camera without any foundation on even though I do sometimes um, And my skin looks so dry up close. It's terrible and I have this uninvited visitor as well okay it's looks sort of intense right so I don't know if I can hold this mirror and do my makeup so I'm just gonna put that down and bring up my regular mirror that I use all the time I feel like I really want to try the shade F-U-C-K <laughs> it's right there um, so let's see here are these like blendy colors or pack on colors? That is the question. I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop brush. It kind of looks like a shader brush, but it's also like a dome. And I'm gonna place this, hmm, on the inner corner. I was so skeptical about this palette because I don't know, I kind of understand like the criticisms of it, of it being like so mishmashed and jumbled and people were saying like, oh gosh, like these colors, the way it's arranged is like giving me anxiety. Like I can totally relate to that because it is a lot of color. And then I was also like really not sure about the pastel shades showing up on my skin tone. Um, you really don't want to spend, you know, 50, something dollars on a palette that you can't use the full palette you know it kind of does scare me so um but I decided to get it on Beautylish because Beautylish does um interest-free payments so you can like break up your payment into three months and so that made me feel a little bit better because I wasn't just gonna drop like 300 bucks on all the stuff I wanted from his collection. But yeah, that's basically how much I ended up paying for everything I wanted with the mirror and the makeup bags and stuff like that. So it is a lot of money and I don't recommend people spending that kind of money on makeup because makeup is not a necessity, so. <laughs> 
Okay, so I put that in the inner corner. I like how bright it looks. And I really wanna play with this blue shade called Soaked. So I think I'm gonna put that in the other half of, I'm gonna stick with the same brush and I'm just gonna place that on the outer corner. I think I had told Annette that I was really looking forward to this color and the green shade. And she's like, oh gosh, those two colors <laughs> were the, I think the, they gave her trouble, so I'm kind of nervous about this blue. I'm just pressing. I'm not really blending. You guys know I'm usually a huge blender of shadows, but when you're working with pressed pigments, you don't want to blend too much because then you're going to lose the pigmentation. It's been a tough lesson for me to learn as somebody that loves to blend their shadows. I just want to look for a little pencil brush to marry the two shades together here. So I'm just going in with like a little detail brush. And now I'm blending because I have the color put down. And so I just want to blend these two shades together. And I'm going back in with the color pop. And I'm trying to keep it under my brow bone too because I don't want it to go too high up because that would be weird too. Okay, so far it's good. We like it, we stan. Oh my gosh, did you, you guys, um, I was watching Be Bean's video with this palette. She did such a cool eyeshadow look and I love her little technique that she did with the cut crease. Maybe other people do it all the time. I've just never noticed it, but she put her base down and then looked up and then wherever the transfer was, that's where she cut the crease and that was such a genius idea. I'm definitely going to steal that from her and do it the next time. I ever feel the need. I've never actually done a cut crease, I don't think. I mean, I do like, this is a cut crease in my brain because I just put like another color down. But yeah, it was really cool to see her do that trick. I thought it was really neat. Okay, I don't know what other colors to use. Mm, I almost low key want to keep it like simple. <laughs> You guys know me. You don't come here for complicated makeup looks, do you guys? Because, like, I hate to disappoint, but I am not, like, as super skilled. I kind of want to use orange juice on my lid. I feel like that would complement the coral shade and the blue. So, yeah, let's do that. I think that would be fun. Hum. Okay, should I try to put it on without wetting it? Let's see what kind of pigmentation we can get. Eh, it's not bad. I think it'll be better if I wet the brush. Um, I'm just using like a generic um, flat brush that I probably got like from BH like 500 years ago. Oh God, that was a lot. That was like a super soak. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. This is the shade Orange Shoes. Okay, okay. I don't hate it. I think I got the brush a little too wet, if that's even possible. I didn't get the mini jawbreaker because I didn't think I would need both. Um, and I'm still pretty happy about that decision because I don't think, I really wish he hadn't done the repeating shades in the palette, you know, cause there's two repeating shades in there and everyone kind of said the same thing. Like, why would you want the same shades twice in a palette? So yeah, I got that part done. I like it. It's not very complicated. Um, and I kind of want to put a little bit of glitter on the lid, so one second. So here are some of the beautiful Urban Decay glitters I own. Oh my gosh, I just got this one. This is the green shade in Stage Dive. So cute. As soon as I saw they were making a green one, I was like, give it to me. So I want to use Starfire. This is cute. And what I like to do is just kind of put it in the crease 
like that. And it's it's like a neat little trick because it like amps up any look. You know what I mean? It just gives it like a little extra pop. And um, kind of also like takes care of like if I think something got a little messy, I can fix it um, by doing that, which is great because like I said, it's tough with pigments and blending. So yeah, that's the bottom half. And then for, for the lash line, I'm gonna go in with this shade called Cool Mood from Linda Hallberry. And it's the perfect color for the blue shade on my lids. I love that. And then, what do we want to do on the bottom half? I'm tempted to stick to the same shades. Because I'm basic, you guys, okay? I don't... So I'm just putting F-U-C-K on the lower lash line. I'm going to go into suck a little bit just to brighten it up. Okay, so my battery died, but I was basically just brightening up my under eye with the shade Suck, um, because it's like a more orange soda type color. And yeah, I like that. It's simple, but you know, impactful. And let's do the rest of my face. I do have some bronzer on already. And I have two products I want to play with today. New stuff, of course. This is uh, the new ColourPop blush. And this is one they did with Kathleen Lights. It's such a pretty color. I was watching it on my Instagram stories yesterday. It's called My Sun and Stars. It honestly um, gives me the vibe of like what that new um, Genesis color by Melt is going to look like. Because it's a very hot coral type shade with a ton of gold specks in it oh my god I feel like I can just keep doing this all day <laughs> we're just gonna go a little extra ham you know because why not because I can <laughs> and maybe just like up here a little bit oh my gosh I love that color you guys are you kidding me right now so pretty. Okay, and then I want to use Manny's highlighter, which I did play with a little bit yesterday. And I've been going back to this Real Techniques highlighter brush, which is an oldie but a goodie. Oh my god, look at this. Are you kidding me? Listen, you could have committed like crimes against humanity, but if you made a good highlighter, I might like forgive you for it. <laughs> yes, queen. Okay, for lips, what should I do? Should I try? Fuck it. I really want to try for. It looked so much neuter. Let's try it. Fuck it. Yeah, this is looking exactly how I thought it would look and how I didn't want it to look. I wanted more of a terracotta nude. Like, why? Why, Jeffrey? Why? Mm. Like this kind of nude <laughs> would have been great. Let's try some. Mm. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so this is Pumpkin Pie from, I think, his holiday collection from, I don't know when, but I love a good terracotta. So, 
I think that pairs better with this eye color, but I'm gonna go get ready and I will be right back and show you guys the complete look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I had so much fun trying out this palette for the first time. I only used about four shades, but so far I feel like it's gonna be quite the adventure of you know, trying to figure out what shades to pair together. I really loved pairing these two shades together and it actually worked out because I have this shirt on and these peach earrings and it goes perfectly I think with this eye look so that was quite lucky but really quick before I end this video I do want to swatch this for you guys. I don't know how many of you watch like you know swatches of this palette and how many of you have found um, swatches on you know a deeper or like a medium complexion so I thought you know I should swatch it for anyone that is my complexion just so they can get an idea so these first shades were the ones I was like mostly like really concerned about like if they were gonna stand out on my skin tone because they are so much lighter uh, more pastels and you guys know I always struggle with pastel shades so we have virgin good morning bubblegum wow and suck suck is the shade i used in my lower lash line and then he's got a beautiful red called licorice i think he had mentioned in his reveal that this was supposed to be in the blood sugar palette uh, but they ended up not putting it in there so this is the first row so here are the five shades in the second row this is so like easter to me these shades just remind me of the easter bunny <laughs> So let me just swatch them quick and then I'll tell you the shade names and let me just grab the last shade too, which is the namesake <laughs> of this palette. So here's where it starts. So we have Cute Fuck, uh, we have Gumdrop, which is the purple shade, pastel purple shade, Snack, Brain Freeze, and Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker reminds me of like a beautiful like almost like a highlighter shade so that's stunning I'm gonna switch arms for the next two rows so let's get in here Ooh, this shade is pretty it's like a raspberry red shade okay so here is the third row we have and what which is that beautiful raspberry shade orange juice is the shade I wore on my lid we have sour which is a green I was like automatically excited for a green shade in this palette Soaked is the matte blue that I have in my crease. We have raspberry and cotton candy, which is a beautiful pink shimmer shade. So here we go. This yellow is called Lemon Drop. The purple is Bite Me, Cherry Wet, Tasty, Cone, and Delicious. So there is that row. And here are the swatches of all of the shades. And there's 24 shades, I believe. And just right off the bat, this palette definitely, to me, is intimidating. I do play with a lot of color, but I feel like my uh, palettes that I play with that are colorful usually have like a theme. It's a little bit more coherent for me. And usually like all the pinks are together, all the blues are together. Like, you know, there's a flow to the palette. So it's not as intimidating to me. So the fact that the colors here are kind of like jumbled up almost, um, it was a little scary at first when I saw this palette I didn't want to buy it because I was like oh my god I don't know what I'm gonna do with that But I think the longer you look at it the longer you play with it The more you watch other people's videos and see the colors that they put together I think it gives you a lot of really great ideas So that's why I mentioned a lot of those other videos um, in the beginning of this video so you guys if you wanted to see more looks you can check them out there and I don't believe this palette is sold out so if you you know watch a few reviews and then you feel more confident that might allow you to purchase it so yeah I'm excited to continue playing with this I am happy with it so far I was not a huge fan of the blue blood palette I never even reviewed it on my channel I played with it a little bit and then I kind of got bored with it and now it seems like irrelevant to talk about it but yeah I think this is a cool palette I think that if you've never purchased from Jeffree Star before this is kind of a good one to go for because it 
kind of has a few reds so you wouldn't really need like the blood sugar it has a few blues so you can you know achieve similar looks as like a blue blood but it's still got some unique shades I think fuck is honestly like a beautiful coral shade I could just see myself putting that all over my lid and calling it a day but yeah this was fun so far let me know if you guys picked up this palette what are your thoughts let me know if you didn't pick up the palette why or whatever you want to leave me down below I always love talking to you guys so thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next one soon bye guys